Hi grade 8s, so we have got to the time of the term where it's time to make your protest songs into songs, um, put some music to them. So this is the exciting part and the challenging part and it's a really difficult thing to teach so I'm just going to try and give you some pointers. So most of you have got iPads, I know one of two of you don't. Um, so we are going to stick with garage band for those of you who can't play a musical instrument. If you feel like you can um, play a musical instrument and you can make your song, um, record your song um, with a musical instrument, then that would be amazing if you do that. But um, it's equally amazing if you can use garage band to make your song. Um, so I'm just going to give you a few pointers about what we're going to do. I'm hoping that you have worked out the rhythm of your pieces, your songs. So in our previous, um, one of our previous assignments, I asked you to make a video of you um, basically presenting your song with rhythm. We weren't work yet working on a melody. Um, some of you don't feel confident enough to introduce a melody, which is completely understandable and fine. So you can just use it as a rap. Okay, so I'm going to turn the camera over to um, GarageBand and I'll take it from All right, there. so you're going to open your GarageBand and your, your GarageBand app and you're going to go to the little plus sign over here um, to create your next um, GarageBand song. Then um, we're starting off here on live loops. Um, if you're feeling confident about your song, you can go to tracks and you can choose your keyboard or your guitar, whatever, however you want to record your song. And then once you've laid down the tracks, then you'll choose your audio recorder to record your voice. Um, you can also, if you want to play live, your guitar or piano or whatever, you can also record it with the audio recorder. But for now, let's go to the live loops. Um, and... Here they list all the different, um, well, some of the different uh, genres that you could choose. Um, so you need to decide what's going to work for your song. But for now, let's choose hip hop. Okay. And it's just loading that up. Think, 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 think. Right. So. You'll notice that there's a whole lot of preloaded um, loops uh, that are in this hip hop um, genre. And you can scroll up and down on the left hand side here. And you'll notice, I think you'll you already know that if you choose one of these arrows, it plays all of the loops in it. If you just select one of the loops, obviously it just plays one of those loops. So let's just have a look through some of the loops that are here in the hip hop one. Okay, so you get a good feeling for that. Um, and then when you choose the next arrow, it automatically loads after your, um, your previous one. Now you need to think about what the form of your song is going to take. So, um, let's just stop that. Um, so if you're going to have an introduction, verse, chorus, and... Um, outro or sort of conclusion to your song and you need to make sure that you plan plan it according to your lyrics of your protest song because that's what what we're working on here your protest song so when you hit record you'll notice that um that you, you at the top of the screen here where after you've pressed record you'll get the the bars you'll see how many bars there are and we normally work in fours, eights, or sixteen, sixteen bars for a verse or chorus or whatever. So you just need to pay attention to that. How many um, bars you've you've used up for each section that you choose, um, and 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 just make sure that you bring in the next section at the correct time. Um, all right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hit record. But also, sorry, just to take us back a step or two, just make sure that you've planned exactly 
um, what you're going to do. And you've listened through all the different sounds and you know exactly what you're going to do. Don't just sort of randomly improvise as you go along because you've written your songs and so now you need to put the music together with the, with the song and the lyrics. Okay, so it's going to give us our four beats in and let's go. So here you see the bar counter at the top here and the red is obviously what we've recorded. So we've just got up to four um, bars and I think I'm going to make a change when we get to the eighth bar. So let's just wait for that to get there. Three, four, go. And you can see that the loops are programmed so that they come in at the right time and that there's a good lead in. Okay, so we're coming up to 12, 2, 3, 4, change. And coming up to 16. Okay, and so it's kind of laid out in quite a clever way so that it's not really rocket science at all. And then we're going to look at our outro at the end. Three, four. Okay, so you'll see that it, it really records it very, um, in, in quite a systematic way. You really don't have to know too much about music to be able to do it. So let's go go to our, our a different way of, of showing what we've recorded. These little signs here are actually a waveform of the music. So it, it shows you where the louds, loud parts are and the soft parts are. And then it breaks it into... It's little, got little titles for each one. So now we can press a plus over here. Um, and it's taken us straight back to instruments. So now you are able to select the audio recorder for your voice. Now the trick here is that you're going to want to plug in a headset that has a microphone on it. So you could even use your earphones from your, your phone that has a little microphone on it or um, if you've got a gaming headphones with um, with a speaker on it I mean a microphone on it you could use that and you're going to slot that into your um, into your um, headphone inset and then um, you could fiddle around with some of these different things um, just to get a different feel for what you're doing. Um, and then when you're ready, you're going to press your record button. But because I don't have my microphone plugged in, it's going to record with the sound of my song playing over. So it's going to be very muted. It's not going to work well at all. So I'm going to, I'll am gonna i play it to you just now once you've... Um, once we've uh, listened to it for a minute or two and then I'll show you why it doesn't work without a little microphone. Okay, so let's go back to this, our mixing board and let's select it. Okay, you can just hear me speaking. Okay, so you can hear my voice, but it's almost indistinct. Okay, so the trick is to try and get a, um, a little microphone um, from your headset into your iPad. Okay, so the idea with this assignment is that I just want you to give it a go. I know that you're probably not going to have a perfect piece of music at the end, um, and, but 
I'm really just wanting to you to give it a go and and try it out. So you're going to be using your protest song. You're going to be making your protest song, um, putting music to it. And once you've recorded everything, um, you just go to that little file button over there. And it'll save with all your other songs. So what you're going to do is you're going to um, press and hold. And you're going to press share. And you're going to press song. Um, you can keep it at medium quality or high quality and you're going to press share. It'll give you some options and you're going to choose classroom. If that's not going to work, I'd like you to um, do a screen recording and um, save that to your photos and then you send it to me. Right, so I hope that all makes sense and I'm really hoping to see what you guys have for me. It's going to be very interesting. So thanks a lot for watching my tutorial and I hope it all makes sense.